<laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. My company is called Up Your Ports. Because we're, we're going to be putting games all up your port. That there, That's the place we're going to be putting those games straight into your ports. Hello, and welcome to this a let's play of Game Dev Tycoon, uh, a game that I uh, purchased the other day and kind of fell in love with and played for far, far too many hours um, and got quite quite far into. So I'm, I'm just going to jump straight into here um, and see if we can't make our first million really quickly. So uh, first, we've got our company name, Up Your Ports. Now we're going to have a player name and I'm going to call it the Camera Andy, just Camera Andy. I'm going to be a dude. I'm going to have... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have really embarrassing blonde hair there, uh, and then I'm gonna have a silly jumper. Because who doesn't like silly jumper? Jumper, jumpers. So here we are. This is uh, me in my uh, my mom's basement um, or garage, should I say? I don't know why you'd put a car in a basement. That'd be a bit strange. So the first thing that we want to do here is uh, we want to make our first game. Um, We've just lost 8k because I've just been sitting here talking. So let's get straight into it and develop a new game. So the first game is going to be the first in the uh, Mass Sloth Effect um, trilogy. So we're going to call it Mass Sloth Effect. No, actually, I know what we should call it. We should um, we should do the Elder Sloth series. Elder Sloth. Um, what was the first Elder Scrolls game? It was Daggerfall, wasn't it? So we should call it like Slothfall. Oh, Slothfar. Oh man. Elder Sloth 1. Uh, we have to call it Elder Sloth 1. So we've given our name. Uh, as you can see, it's costing nothing to make right now. So we're going to pick a topic. Um, and it has to be medieval, of course. Then a genre, roleplay game. Then we pick a pack. Pat platform, and I'm going to be dedicated PC, PC all the way, homies. So we're going to go straight into the uh, graphics setting. So we're going to be having 2D graphics. It's going to cost us a little more, but it's going to be worth it in the end because those gamers are going to be like, "Whoa, Elder Sloth One is like the best looking 2D game we've ever played." So now we get into the slider settings for uh, where we're going to be putting our time and our effort um, so because it's a medieval RPG I'm definitely feeling bumping up the story and the quests I'm gonna leave engine where it is but I'm gonna bump up the gameplay a little bit and as you can see here we have design technology research and bugs uh, bugs obviously make your game not that great but I should release it with a billion bugs because you know it's the elder sloth um, how could it not have bugs uh, and, um, as far as I'm aware, I'm not sure if this is true, but you're supposed to keep the design and technology as balanced as possible. Um, so again, because it's an RPG, gonna bump up my dialogues, gonna have my level design up a bit. Actually, I'm gonna have a bit more artificial intelligence than le level design. Again, if it was a, if it was a, an elder sloth game, it, the level design would be down here because same environments all the way. Woo. So um, you gain research by making games. Uh, you level the, you bring these up by developing it, um, and then bugs just come in randomly. Uh, it's, it's quite surprising we haven't got that many blo uh, blugs. Blugs. Uh, I want it to be an okay-looking game. I want it to have decent world design, and I want it to have really good sound. Um, mm, mm, let's you start down a little bit, maybe have the world design be a bit lower. Let's see if we can't get this to be a great game. If we can get a great game out of the bat, I'm going to be so surprised. Okay, so I'm just going to wait until these bugs disappear and see if he pumps anything into these two. Because sometimes just waiting can get you a bug. Balls. Um. <laughs> no, get rid of the bugs! Alright, no, I'm going to release it because I'm losing money. So, here we go. As you can see, I'm getting bonuses for a new topic, a new combo, and a great combo. And as you can see, I level up in different areas of the game. 
So we're going to release the game. What do the reviews think? The first reviews for the Elder Sloth 1 came in. What do they think? What do they think? Oh, shows potential. This is actually the best. I've, is that is this going to be a 10? 8, 6, 8. This is the best I've done on a first, first run. 6, 8, 8. Oh, six quirky, but good. Oh, that's actually a really good first day. Up your ports. A newcomer in the gaming industry has just released their first game, Elder Slot 1. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, up your ports are sure to gain fans quickly. Yes, we are. But then we're going to lose them because the next game is not going to be that good. Elder Sloth. One sold 4,998 4, units in its first week on the market. Oh, we made it in the charts at number 32. Urgh. And we have fans straight away. Oh, my God. Our first game, and we've, we've made fans. And we're breaking in the dough. Elder Sloth 1 has achieved a company sales record with over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Open Ports. Oh my god, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go out and make it rain. I'm just gonna like go to my the, my roof and just like throw money off my roof like crazy. My first game and I'm almost at 100k. Oh my god, 100.2k first game sold. Oh, sweet Jesus, this is awesome! Elder Sloth 1 is now off the market and has sold 14,180 units, gathering 99,296 in sales. Awesome! So now what we want to do is, let's check what we can research. Let's research a new topic and we will go fantasy for the next one. Um, and then we'll save up our research to create a custom engine. So we'll just wait for that bar to fill up. You've successfully researched a new topic, fantasy. Um, so let's look at our game history. And we made a profit of 60.3 thousand something or others. I mean, this, this could be euros. I mean... But that's amazing. For the first game, that is that is amazing. The Elder Sloth 1 did really well. So we're going to develop a new game. 